Well, so many of you continue to reach out to our Dr. Malika Marshall with your coronavirus questions. The doctor joins us now to answer some of those questions, so let's jump right in. Lene writes on Facebook, my husband and I are vaccinated, but we're still being as careful as we were prior to getting the vaccine. She sees the breakthrough case numbers, doctor. She doesn't really know what it means. So. Give us a good sense. A good idea. Well, you know, Lene, I think the breakthrough numbers that are being reported are probably an underestimate of the actual number of breakthrough yeah. infections out there because most of those that go unreported are probably asymptomatic. But if you are vaccinated, you're still at much lower risk of getting mm -hmm. a breakthrough infection. And then if you do get a breakthrough infection, your symptoms are likely to be milder and you're contagious for a shorter period of time. I personally still wear a mask in most places as a okay. precaution, but I notice that in many stores, I'm one of the few in areas where masks are not mm -hmm. required, but such is life. I don't mind. All right. Eric asks, I had the J&J &J vaccine and I plan to get an mRNA booster. Should the fact that Moderna is only a half dose be a concern and should I get the Pfizer instead? My PCP said it doesn't matter. What do you think? Yeah, I kind of agree with your physician. Uh, I don't think it really matters whether you get a half dose Moderna booster, which is 50 micrograms, or the full dose of the Pfizer vaccine, which is 30 micrograms. If it helps at all, mm. my husband had the J&J &J vaccine initially and he did get a half dose of the Moderna booster. So the Moderna, even at a half, is a little bit bigger than the Pfizer. Yes, although I'm not sure you can compare apples to apples, but yes, the Moderna dose is bigger than All the right. Pfizer dose. Jock says, why is there so much attention paid to washing down and wiping surfaces when people have to do things unnecessarily? They shy away from doing the necessary things like masking up and social distancing. I think early on, we were wiping <laughs> everything, everything down. And I think most of us have let up some, yes. right? But mm -hmm. I think I've been doing a better job of washing my hands than I was before. Because you're right, the coronavirus is spread primarily through the air, but it, like other cold viruses, can still be spread through contact by, for example, touching a contaminated mm -hmm. hand to your face. So I think there's still sense as you know to washing your hands and wiping down shopping carts for example especially as winter approaches because not only can it yeah, help protect germs. you against the coronavirus but other viruses like the flu and uh, and cold viruses so i hope that people yeah. will continue to wear their masks and socially distance but i think it's okay to keep washing your hands by the way i blame you early on in the pandemic you told me that you have to wipe down everything at the grocery store that bring comes into your house change your clothes in the garage <laughs> i was doing all those things uh Okay. I blame you. And you still do? No. You still take your clothes off in the garage? <laughs> Susan writes, we would like to host Thanksgiving, but we have young children in the family <laughs> who aren't eligible to receive the vaccine yet, and some members of the family are not and will not get vaccinated. So what's the advice there? Uh, I feel really bad for families like this, where they're sort of going to have a mixed yeah. crowd, where they're going to have unvaccinated people and vaccinated people. So I would say one thing you can do is ask everybody to get tested. Okay. So they can get a PCR test within 72 hours mm -hmm. of coming to your house, for example, or they can do one of those rapid antigen tests at home the day of Thanksgiving yeah. where you get the results within 15 minutes. It'll give you a little peace of mind. There are a couple of popular brands out there that I've used, which you can purchase online or get at your local drugstore. I've used them as well. You can have everybody come into the house, take their shoes off, you hand them the little <laughs> test. Get them naked in the garage. There, oh, geez, here we go. <laughs> Dr. Malika. I think the COVID is starting to, uh, too much talking and you're getting a little bit crazy. Okay. Dr. Malika offers her best advice, but as always, consult your personal doctor before making any decisions about your health. If you have a question for Dr. Malika, there are three ways to reach her. Her email, drmalika at cbs.com. Her Twitter handle is at Malika Marshall, or you can Facebook message her, Dr. Malika Marshall.